So hello everyone, this is Akshay here and let us proceed with the today's question of day 186. Today's question name is seating arrangement. So here the question says is that we are given an integer n. Generating the number of people who have been seated needs to be seated and a list m integer seats where 0 represents the vacancy and 1 represents the already occupied. We just have to take care whether all n people can be can find a seat provided that no two people can sit next to each other. Okay? So it's actually a what to say easy question. How we can do it is and once again, if you're new to this channel, please like, share, and subscribe so that you can learn, maintain, and grow our streak together. So, what can we do about it? That let's say uh, 001, 0001, right? And the answer is given as yes because you can clearly put the first, uh, the first person as this zeroth index here, and the uh, and the second person, let's say at this index, right? And you can clearly see that the no two persons will be then. Uh, will be uh, seated uh, together, right? So, what can we see? That let's say if we have a zero at the first index, right? So we just need to take care that there should be a vacant seat in the right hand side, and I don't care about a vacant seat in the left hand side. If I'm talking about just at the first index, right? So let us add an imaginary zero here, right? Similarly, for right hand side, if the case is zero, this is not. But let's say you have an array where, uh, let's say zero zero zero. Uh, one and zero, right? Zero one zero one. Yeah. So in the right, in the in the last entry, let's say we have the zero. So we just have to take care that if there is a vacant seat, seat in the left hand side, and then you can place the person here, right? You you don't have to take care of the right hand side for the last index. So let us add an imaginary zero here again. Okay. So what are all the cases for the seats that needs to be uh, that is present in between the array? So let's say if I am at this index. So I just have to see that if the uh, at my i right so i minus one let's say the array of i minus one should also be equals to zero and this this in the right array of i plus one should also be equals to zero then a person can be placed here right and once I have placed the person here I cannot place the person either in the, in the immediate left that is i minus one and i plus one so that means we need to if we want to check further then we need to move by i plus two right that's the only thing. So that means for each and every index, we have to maintain what is the left value and what is the right value, right? And if it is equals to let's say zero, and and all these things will happen if and only that if my seats of i is zero, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. So all the things will happen for a particular value, let's say for s of i is equals to zero. So we just have to check these two conditions that. If s of i is equal to 0, the left and right should also be pointing to 0. That means we can place a person here and then I will increment it by, I will move forward by 2 index, right? If that's not the case, then I will just move forward 1 and we'll keep on checking it, right? So what will happen? Let us do a run for this case that whenever I am I'm at this index, I will say that the, there is nothing left in the 0. So there is, a, I have added an imaginary 0 there, right? So left will be, so for i equals to 0, what will happen? Left and right. They both will be pointing to zero and you can place a person here, right? So for i equals to now, since you have placed the person here, you will go to i equals to index two. But you see that there is a one here, so you will just not check. Then you will go to i equals to what? Three. And you will see that the left, that the left value is having one and the right value is having zero. You cannot place it, right? Similarly, for i equals to four, what will happen? The left value will be zero and the i value, uh, right value is also zero. So you can place it here, right? The only thing you have to care of that left plus right should be equals to zero. That's it. So since we have placed it here, then we will jump by two index. So i equals to four plus five six, right? Zero one two three four five six. So for six, you can see the array itself is one. So nothing will happen here. This it will itself not go in this if statement, right? So it was actually simple, right? You can see that the, you have just maintained the count for these two, right? When we are placing, you have to do answer plus plus. Please pause the video and try to code it yourself. It's a very simple code, and then let us proceed ahead. So okay. Okay, so that's the code here. Let me give you a code walkthrough. We are iterating for each and every element, right? And for we are just checking. If we are the first index, then we have to uh, initialize the left as zero. The thing that it was uh, talking for adding an imaginary zero. If that's not the case, then you have to take the value of seat of i minus one. And for the right again, if if your pointer is at the last index, then you have to take a right value imaginary as zero because that will itself not affect the case, right? You can place the person here. You just have to check if seat of and else, if this you have to check if the actual index present, then i plus one you have to take that, right? 
and at last and uh, the second if is just checking we already discussed that if c2 is equal to 0 you have to check the left and right should also be 0 right it should be vacant this this condition is just checking that for a particular seat which is pointing i index i which has a vacant seat then in the left and right also it should be a vacant seat because mentioned by the question that you cannot place a uh, two people sit next to each other right and if you have placed the person definitely you cannot place the say another person in the next seat so you have to do i you have to move forward with the two index ahead and else if that's not the case you have, to, you have to keep on checking for each and every indexes and at last you just have to return that whatever the seats whatever the number of persons you will be able to place it if it is greater than equals to one then that's it so you can see that the expected and uh, our output matches so let us hit the submit button and while it is submitting the time complexity is o of m the worst would be right and since m is 10 per 5 so it will definitely get submitted right which is less than 10 per 8 so great our test cases uh, all the test cases have been passed successfully and we have done this question so okay okay so let us end this video with a good note and again if you are new to this channel please like share and subscribe so they can also be motivated to make the next video for you guys and we can learn grow together so till then keep learning keep growing bye bye and take care